Hey YouTube, this is Itchy. Um, we have some new developments with reactor number two in Japan. And about a week ago I put out a video um, documenting some of the strange lights that were showing up on the TEPCO cameras. Uh, here's another one from October 30th. See the red and green lights flashing above the reactors. Um, this is an indication that there are new criticalities going on in the open air around the reactors and we're used to seeing blue, um, blue neutron beams, but now these beams are orange, uh, green, red, which indicates a higher and hotter neutron reaction going on. Now the news that's coming out of uh, Japan, one is there was a new hole seen on the JNN TEPCO cameras. These are a little different than the TEPCO ones and the hole appears on the side of reactor 2. It appeared at, at sometimes to be emitting smoke. Um, in any news published this morning that TEPCO is saying there are alarming readings of a different substance that is occurring around the reactors and they don't know what it is. In fact they are asking the Japanese government for help in determining um, uh, what to do about this. So we've got new, um, new problems going on at the plant, which is what we suspected. That's what's been indicated by the EPA graphs. And a few of them are showing high levels. Phoenix today was really high. Uh, it's almost 600. 300 is a level where you need to take extreme precautions and a lot of these graphs show an uptick that started occurring around the end of September beginning of October and I'm starting to wonder if it has something to do with the fact that Japan is now burning all of its radioactive trash. Now if you remember the tsunami damage there are just tons and tons of garbage um, in Japan that's been laying around. The particles from Fukushima have been floating down over, you know, out of the air, covering everything in sight. Now they're incinerating it. If it was radioactive trash in the U.S., it would have to be buried. Um, but in Japan, they don't differentiate. Um, it's, it's okay for them to burn it. And what they're doing is sending it up into the air, and that's coming over here, in addition to all the um, releases that are occurring from reactor one, two, three, the spent fuel pool in four, and now possibly reactor five and six, which we heard about last week from a whistleblower that there's a, a crisis going on there. I have not heard any updates on what's going on with reactor five and six, but uh, this is uh, even more important now that we are vigilant about minimizing our radiation risks and the, the um, absolute most important thing that needs to be done is, is watching the weather and staying out of the rain. This is really important for kids, babies, pregnant women. Um, I'm going to put out a video later today that has all the, the risk mitigation that you can do, basic, easy, cheap things to help eliminate radiation from your environment. And uh, I just want to bring you guys up to date and let you know there's stuff going on. This is really important. Please share this information with your family and friends. Um, make sure that they have my uh, YouTube channel. And I also just started a page on Facebook, Rad Chick Radiation Research and Mitigation. Uh, it's just an information source. I post all my videos from YouTube on here. I post uh, daily tips on how to uh, mitigate radiation in your environment and any news articles that I come across I, I put anywhere from two to ten articles on here a day so if you n have people that are on Facebook they can get access to this information just wanted to share it with you guys stay safe and uh, be putting out another video later thanks